I did, uh, I went to medical school, I did internship, I did residency, and I did a three-year cardiology fellowship. I, I don't recall any discussion about what we're talking about. The effects of the emotional, of emotional stress on the heart, for example. I mean, in cardiology fellowship, it was about, you know, you know what size catheter do you, do you pick to engage the right coronary artery when you want to put in a stent? Or, you know, or which vein do you get access to put in the pacemaker wire? You know, it's, it's, it was all about the machine. But there was no discussion about the metaphorical object and how it affects the machine. So, um, you know, I mentioned that the American Heart Association still doesn't talk about emotional stress. It's not, even though there's a lot of evidence to show that emotional stress has very deleterious effects on the heart, but the AHA doesn't really uh, talk much about that at all. And I think it's because doctors w want to be doers. You know, they, 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 they want a problem that they can solve. That, um, you know, putting in a pacemaker is a very solvable problem. Lowering one's cholesterol is a very solvable problem. Um, but, um, you know, improving one's, a, a patient's frame of mind or reducing their, uh, their emotional, um, you know, disorder in their lives is, that's a pretty intractable problem, uh, according to, you know, many physicians. So, um, so I think that's why we ignore it.